show people how to use the Regis DAC6. So we're going to open the software. It's going to come up. It takes a little bit. There we are. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to select right here. We're going to select what video we want to work on. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit this one here. See so you can have a preview. Hit open. Okay. And this is my video. What you want to do is set alignment points. Of course, you can move from the different frames just to pick the best frame that you can get. In this case, we're going to get frame number 10. And then we're going to set up the alignment points. It's going to come up with some of them already. And then just click on a few extras here. Let's align this here and this here, which is the moons. Hit align. And it's going to start aligning. It's going to take a little bit because it's a total of 1048 frames. So you can see it's on 6%, 8%. We're going to speed up a little bit on this video and we're going to come back when it's back on the 100%. Okay, we're back now. Um, uh, as you can see, it's already at 100%. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this button here that says limit, which is going to show me the limits on where this is going to be moving and aligning. So once I'm done with that, I can go ahead and start on the stack processing. Once again, it's going to start doing that right here. It's going to start advancing from 0% all the way up to 100%, and when it's done, once again we're going to come back with the video to show you what's the next step okay we're back it's already been stacked the image is of course a little bit fuzzy um, you can see it's a 100% here now so now what we're going to do is in order to maximize the clarity of this image we're going to go into the wavenet that then you have these other menus which you can use to modify uh, all your uh, picture okay for instance this one here the RGB align this one will show you a little square here covering all the area in which you're going to be working if you do an estimate here just to let the system search for all the different ranges of colors like uh, right now searching for the red it's going to go all the way through 100% it's going to go all over through 100% uh, on the blue one as well and then once it does that it's going to give you a little bit of a difference and then we can start working on the layers the red now it's going with the blue okay so it's just gonna take a little bit longer um, of course um, every time you see this I'm speeding up the process on the computer so that uh, you don't have to wait for me okay it's done 100% with RGB which is red green and blue alignment it's all done now what's going to do is it's going to give me a different kind of image. Right now we don't need this anymore, so we're going to close it, and then we're going to start working on the actual layers. Okay, so 
what you do here is just going to play a little bit with each one of them so that okay this one here didn't work very well so it's going to bring it back to where it was just going to work on each one of them to see what works best for you of course we were working on a, a very fuzzy image on this each time um, you move one of those things it's going to give you a different effect on that okay so let's move this one here if something's not working right all you have to do is just go back to where it was you're done with your picture with your image all you have to do is just save your image we're gonna save it here um, I'm just gonna put Jupiter and we're gonna save it as GP GP EG okay so we're gonna save this image done saving the image all you have to do is just close it and you're done doing what you need to do 